guys, and um, today we are going to be playing NCAA Football 14. Um, so this is um, well, we have I have the custom rosters and the rankings, as I will show you here. We also have the right conferences like Louisville's in the ACC. Um, we have team. We have like the Sun Belt, like has new teams in it. The Independence has UMass in it now. Um, the American has Navy. We have Tulsa and Tulane in there. Um, we also have some teams that aren't in there, like um, what are some? Um, we have like teams like teams like Appalachian State. Georgia Southern, those two teams aren't in it, and also we have, um, where is it, here, uh, we also have, instead of, um, what's the team, instead of Charlotte, we have UAB, um, yeah, because they're not actually in it anymore, but Charlotte is, and they're in the same conference, so, Okay, that's so UAB is going to be replacing them. Um, other than that, all um, all the teams are all the teams are right. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, so um, the team that we're going to be is right here. It's my my favorite team. It is right. Um, It is going to be the Clemson Tigers. It is going. It is that is my favorite team in um, all of NCAA in every single sport. So that's what we're going to be playing as. Um, of course, in this game they're really good, as they are in real life. I mean, kind of. So in this game, they're number two. Um, so we're going to be the head coach. Not doing any custom. Guys, we're going to be the one, the only, Dabo Sweeney. Um, see, he was, he's uh, high, high leveled. Um, level 51. He was higher boy back in 2006. Um, so, yeah, he's, um, so, well, so he's a really, really good coach in my eyes. Um, and also... I want to recreate the year of 1981, where we, the only year Clemson went undefeated and won a national championship. Um, well, in real life, they went 12 and one. I'm pretty sure it was a national championship against Alabama, but I'm not going to talk about that. So, um, yeah, we're going to start um, the game. So I'm going to. After this, I'm gonna be making custom the custom schedule, so you don't have to watch it. So, um, yeah, I'll I'll be right back. Hey guys, I am back, and um, now we are in the game. Um, I have made a custom schedule. Um, and then yeah, we also did the recruiting, all that stuff. Um, but now, I think we're ready to play against Georgia, our, one of our big rivals, um, so, yeah. As, as you can see, our offense is 99. We have one of the best offenses in the game in this. Because of the main, because of our, our quarterback, Deshaun Watson. He is really good. He can throw the ball. He can run the ball. He's a dual threat quarterback for sure. So um, hopefully I'm going to be able to um do some uh, runs with them and pass it. As you can see, our defense isn't the best, but still really good. Um, because our defense is a 90. Um, I mean, that's still really, really good, but... 
I mean, I think we could do better in the um, in the recruit in the recruiting class. Um, when I was looking through it, um, I saw a team needs was there's three defensive ones so that might make a difference. But um, here we are in Clemson Moral Stadium, also known as Death Valley, and um, yeah, let's start. They um, they're gonna kick it. We're gonna defend this side. So we have our Tavis Scott back to return the kick, and um, he's gonna and bring the tackle and gets to about the 28. So what I was saying, um, we have a really good, really good team, and I'm looking to throw the ball and everything with them. And yeah. We throw it. Mike Williams back to make a huge gain of 38 yards. And the first down, the first throw of the game. That was a really, really dangerous throw. It's like with three people around him. But Sean Watson is really, really, really um, good on that pass. They throw it to Dion Kane. He gets 23 yards in the next play. The thing gets battered after he catches it. Um, okay, I, I need to pause. Be right back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, trash. So, yeah, but we're back. And Deshaun Watson just threw an amazing pass. Two in two in a row. One to Dion Kane and one to Mike Williams. Or Tavis Scott, I think. Never mind. Whatever. And then the throw. Mike Williams, touchdown. Three plays. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And now we have Hugel um, to kick it off. And with seven points already on the board. And North Carolina beats South Carolina. Um, that's not really a big upset in real life, but... In some games, that would be kind of an upset. It was a really, really close one. 26-23. That's, oh, I, there's three other things there. I, I skipped it. Sorry. But, now, Hugel to kick it off. And, oh, that's a, in the deep kick to Mitchell, and he just kneeled it. So now, Kibby Smart, Kirby, Kirby Smart, now to is now this the new head coach of Georgia and I'll well, say the first name isn't the the most original isn't the or like the common name I've seen in a while. Um, see, same with Nick Chubb. Um, but um, Georgia gets seven yards on their first run play and second three now. Eason, back throw, he throws it away, and third and three. Alright ladies, give me time to talk about um, that it's not just me hosting all the, um, the videos. There's also going to be another person that's going to be, because I didn't do the um, two Roblox videos if you've seen those. That was by the other host of the channel. And also, we have Georgia's going to take a punt early on. Now the kick is back. I didn't forgot to move with my punt person there. Our Davis Scott. Oh, he and he takes it around defender, but not a defender. Takes it around a Georgia player, and we get 15 yards. Now first down for for Clemson, Deshaun Watson. And Deshaun Watson runs it for his first time and oh gosh. This is this isn't even funny. Deshaun Watson touchdown first play. Fifty four yards. That shows that Deshaun Watson is really good. 
all with this extra point it'll already be 14 0 is up and it's good and Utah State beat Utah that's actually a bit of an upset there never would have expected that now us to kick it off again by the way this is um, I don't usually play this game often so it's on an easy difficulty but I'm probably gonna raise it up after this game, definitely, because because I'm destroying them really badly. I'm sorry if you guys could hear that. That's garage door. That's a garage door opening. So um, sorry about that if you heard that. But yeah, I'm probably gonna raise the difficulty up a lot after this game because Georgia's a pretty good team and we're destroying them. So hopefully next episode, um, this. Won't be it won't be such of a um, a big win if if I, I don't, if I even do it if I even win it because it's only in the first quarter. But um, so Eason throws it quick and first down Georgia, thirteen yards. Terry Godwin. Godwin. Don't know how to pronounce any of the players. Um. So now. Now Georgia's first down on the on the 46, 47, and they're gonna hand it off to Chubb, who gets about four yards. Here at Georgia's second and six, on the 49 yard line, and about nine seconds left in the first quarter. That should be the first quarter done after this play, and. Mm, no, actually. So once again, sorry for the noise if you hear it. Um, so that's the end of the first quarter, and the score is 14-0 to, to the Clemson Tigers. So um, now it's second and six for Georgia. They're go and they're gonna hand it off to Chubb again. We get zero yards on the play. It's absolutely flattened by the two players there. We get third and six for Georgia. They have a year in the third being looking very hot in the hot and cold thing. Third and six now. And they get the first down. And a good bit more to 18 yards for Javon Williams. It was wide open on the side. <laughs> the, um, and the quarterback was lucky to get off the throw because the line was collapsed. The pocket was collapsing on him really quickly. And just like that, a sack already in the first two seconds of the play. For eight yards. He ran right through the line and just came in and tackled him to the ground, making it second and 18 for, Ge for the Georgia Bulldogs. So, um, yeah, Georgia hasn't had a good game at all so far. And Easton now going to run it. And they, he gets, oh, he fumbled it, but luckily for them it went out of bounds. Making it third and five. And George, now Georgia has to get five yards to get the first down, obviously. Um, now Easton's going to pass it and get sacked for eight yards again. That will make it fourth and 13. I don't know if this is field goal range or not. No, they're actually going to punt it at that short of, at that short of an angle. So fourth and 13. They're just going to probably run down as much time as they can. So, um, yeah. I, don't, I, I hate when the computer does this. Like a not really meaningful, like not really needful situation like that. But the, kick and the, putt, but the punt goes back for a touchback. And Clemson gets the ball at the 20.
Now can Deshaun Watson take it down the field once again? And if so, that would make that would be a like a hard game for Georgia to come back from. And they throw it long to Mike Williams, who makes the catch. 58 yards on the throw to Mike Williams. Absolutely amazing for amazing catch by Mike Williams. He got it right on the spot. And Mike Williams able to catch it from behind the defender, I mean the behind the corner, and they're able to. And there, and Mike Williams able to catch it. Now and now McLeod, Ray Ray McLeod, get in the first down now. 19 yards. Now first and goal. Can Clemson punch it in on this play? Yes, they can. Deshaun Watson for his second touchdown of the game, second rushing touchdown of the game. Making it on this extra point, 21-0. The kick is up and it is good. 21-0. And now 36 seconds left for Georgia to put points on the board before, well, I guess they get the ball again, but they could get two touchdowns in a row if they are able to score on this drive. But I, I, think, I think it's very unlikely because Clemson's defense has been super strong so far in this game. With you're in the third being the, the main the main def linebacker in this one. If you saw him there, he's just spun out of the defender, then trucked the guy. Um, both of them linemen, if you can see on the side. You can't, but second and six now. You can see you're been booming hot. No second and six now. He sends back, throws it to Wims, who gets 15 yards on the play. Making it first down. Now first and 10 now. He's in back, throws it quick, and it goes way out of bounds. Second and ten now. He's in. Gets sacked immediately for six yards by Yergin the third. He just runs through and just tackles him. The looks like two seconds like the other sack was. Now third and sixteen. They go for the screen and the but it is tackled behind the line. A four yard loss, making it fourth and 20. The linebacker was right there once he made the catch to immediately tackle him behind the line. Fourth and 20 in there, going for it. I don't think so. I think he's going to run down the clock. Yes, they are. That's, that's half time now, and the score is 21 to 0 for Clemson. <coughs> so now we have the kickoff from Hugel again. And he kicks it back, and it goes into the end zone to Chubb, who just kneels it in the, in the end zone for a touchback. Clemson had only, only given out 56 yards, three average per play, three sacks, but and zero interceptions in this game so far. And it's only the it's only the um, first play of the third quarter. And yeah, sorry guys, it's only three minute quarters. I did. Forgot to check the settings before the game, but we're gonna just play on through it. That minute, don't worry, guys. The next episode, all of this will be fixed. I'm pretty sure it'll be like five minute quarters. Then it'll be way harder difficulty from this. So it's already third and nine to Georgia.
and fourth and seventeen on the sack where Georgia is going to once again hunt it back to Octavius Scott. And they kick it back and goes right to Octavius Scott, who takes it, runs a little bit, runs along the outside, gets some good yardage, gets 17 yards, and the ball's at about Georgia's 40. Can Watson get his third rushing touchdown of the day today? Now he hands it out to Wayne Gallman, his first touch of the ball. The lane train gets 16 yards on the play. Now first and 10 again. Deshaun Watson with the read option once more. Hits the first down and slides again. First downs for the Clemson Tigers and only three for Georgia. Now I'm pretty sure every play for the Clemson Tigers has been a first down. Now and they hand off to Wayne Gallman who gets into the end zone. They get another touchdown for the Clemson Tigers. And if this extra point, it'll be 28 to 0. Pick is up and it is good. Score is now 28 to 0. This game is a lopsided battle between Clemson and Georgia. Don't worry, this will not be the biggest game of the season. We have teams like we have teams like Florida State and Louisville coming up too. That should be pretty high ranked when we play them unless there's an upset that goes on. Now Easton now has a lot of time in the pocket, but only gets two yards on the throw, making it second and eight. Now second and eight for Georgia. Easton back in the pocket, throws it once more to Stanley, and makes it third and one, barely not getting the first down. Third and one on the seven yard reception. We have four players who are steaming hot in the Clemson Tide. Five. Now they go for the speed option. And yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back. I gotta do, do something once again. So see you after this. Hey guys, I am back. And now we're gonna finish off the Clemson Georgia game. It, it, it is about the end of the third quarter. The score is 28-0 to the Clemson Tigers. Well, Eason pops back and only gets four yards on the pass to Jason Stanley. Jacob Eason, 8-12 and 12 on passing today. Not the best, but definitely not, definitely not bad at all. And 10 yards on that passing play. And the tackle by Ben Bowler. And that's the end of the third quarter. And the score is 28-0 to the Clemson Tigers. This game is, go is most likely going to be a blowout victory for the Clemson Tigers. Now, the first play of the fourth quarter... Eason, he, Eason hands it off to Chubb. Gets absolutely battered on on the diving tackle. And also, I probably will miss some tackles. Um, I tend to do that a lot. <laughs> Eason, in the shotgun, hands it off. No, he not hands it off. Throws it, but no one is able to catch it. They get it third and three. Can Georgia 
I drop my controller. Can Georgia get the first down here? Eason bounces back, tries to run, and he gets the first down, and a good bit more too. Fifteen yards on that running play. Make it first and ten. Eason drops back, throws it to Goodwin, who gets sec who gets nine yards, making it second and one. Second and one now. Can Georgia get to the end zone for their first points on the game? And Chubb does catch it, and. There is a flag on the play. Personal foul, roughing the passer on the uh, on the defense for Austin Bryant, making it first, first and goal on the one yard line. Can Georgia punch it in to get their first points of the game? They hand it off, and they do get into the end zone. Nick Chubb with the touchdown for Georgia, their first of the game. And the score, if they make this extra point, will be twin will be seven to twenty-eight. The first points on the board for Georgia coming in through coming in the first fourth quarter. Oh, dang it, I messed it up. And they get it. George, oh, but I don't think it went 10 yards. I do not think it went 10 yards. No, it didn't. Making it first down for the Clemson Tigers. Clemson got lucky on that one. Because they weren't even in, they weren't in the right formation. Now Watson goes for the read option. Then gets the first down on the slide there, making their ball on the 26 yard line. First and ten once more for the Clemson Tigers. And they're gonna hand it off to Wayne Gallman who gets to about the 10-yard line, making it first and 10, not first and goal, which is barely first and 10. Now it looks like it should be first and goal, but it is first and 10. And they hand it off to Wayne Gallman, who gets only four yards on the play, making it second and six. Clemson's first play that is not a first down of the entire game. Second and six now. Looks like Clemson's going to run down the clock a little bit here before they snap the ball. Once the clock reaches 40 seconds, then the game is going to most likely be over on the next play. So they hand it off to Wayne Gallman. Runs up the middle. They make it third and two at the two yard line. Looks like they're gonna possibly try to punch the ball into the touchdown to get one final score before the end of the game. Deshaun Watson touchdown for the Clemson Tigers. That just to put the icing on the cake. With the extra point, it will be 35 to 7. He is up and it is good. 13 seconds left in the game. 35 to 7. Can the can, George is gonna have to hope for a miracle, which is most likely not going to happen. Mitchell gets its ball and kneels it in the end zone. They get it first and 10 for Georgia with 13 seconds left to go in the game. 
in the I formation. Georgia drops back, throws it short, and he barely catches it before before it, the ball hitting the ground. But it, which it didn't. Making it second and nine now. And Georgia call a timeout. It's nine seconds left in the game, and it looks like they are. I think they're going for the hail mary on this play. Actually, maybe not. They're they're not lining three on the side. They're not. Easton's gonna run it. And it's tackled way behind the line for a seven-yard sack or an eight-yard sack, actually. Making six seconds left in the game. Looks like now they might go for the hail mary. Six seconds left in the game. Yes, they are, and they throw it. He makes the catch. But that is the game. Score is the Clemson Tigers 35, the Georgia Bulldogs 7. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. But before we end, let's see if we can see the man of the match. Actually, I think Marty already skipped it. But we... But, but by the top, we won the game of the week. But we'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!